It was almost business as usual as Emmanuel Macron welcomed the Moldovan president to the Elysee Palace this morning. From a French leader so desperate to appease an angry France that he's decided against a third lockdown. A gamble given that Covid cases have been rising. And a gamble too because unlike the UK, Europe has failed to procure enough vaccine. Mais je pense que nous Européens I think we Europeans should also be more efficient on this matter. I know this is also the intention of Chancellor Merkel and President von der Leyen. We will continue in the coming weeks and months to speed things up, to go faster on this matter for our populations and to better accompany our friends. At this intensive care unit in Marseille, the doctors are worried they will be overwhelmed, that nighttime curfews will not be enough to turn the Covid tide. France is currently losing around 400 people a day, compared with well over twice that in the UK. But though France's death toll is around 40,000 lower, they are irked by the UK's vaccine success. Look at this vaccination centre in Paris last week where there were no patients because the fridges were bare. This in the land of Louis Pasteur, the vaccine pioneer. Even worse, a French pharmaceutical giant failed to develop its own vaccine, and it's headed by a Brit. And meet Renault Georges, told by text that his first jab had been cancelled, with the next available slot not until March the 10th. A big disappointment, he says. When it comes to distribution, there have been many mistakes. Mr Macron is chivying vaccine producers and indirectly lashing out at the UK, denying AstraZeneca's Oxford jab to the over 65s, even as Europe is demanding more of it, while the EU's own regulator authorised it for all adults last week. The observation that there are not many old people in the trial is correct, but the inference that the result is not as good in older patients is not substantiated by any evidence. What's more, a French minister has claimed the UK's three-month gap between jabs is risky, which is denied by British government experts. The gap in France is just a month, which puts even more pressure on supplies. Ironically, AstraZeneca's own CEO, Pascal Sorio, is a Frenchman, and so is Stéphane Boncel, the head of another vaccine maker, Moderna, in the United States. The only true French vaccine has been developed here in Brittany by a biotech startup, and yet it will be manufactured outside Edinburgh and delivered first to the UK. The United Kingdom helped with the financing. It rolled out the red carpet, says the head of the regional council. They did everything to make it happen, and we did not. No wonder President Macron has talked about what he calls a deeper sense of French inferiority and doubt. The UK's vaccine success and his refusal to fully lock down again risks reversing France's better track record. Just when the far right are challenging the president in the polls, and he's up for re-election next year.